Hey everyone, Wazoo here, and this is a, another look at the Ultima 7 Revisited project. Yeah, this is a project spearheaded by Viridian Games. The link is in the description down below. It's an open source project available on GitHub, and this is the version 0.02, .02 which has been just recently released here in the early bits of 2024. And yeah, so the last time we took a look at this project, we didn't have, well, there was there was map rendering for Ultima 7 with a lot of the terrain being taken care of, which looked really, really cool. The camera could zoom around the map and spin around and things like that, but there were no actual buildings, if I recall correctly. It was just the uh, the terrain on the ground. And so... The ultimate goal of the project, if I haven't mentioned it yet, is to replace the engine used for Ultima 7, the Black Gate. So in order to run this, you need to have a version of the game, the legit version of the game, which is available on good old games or anywhere else you buy your PC games. I believe there it's even available on Steam, but I could be mistaken. I haven't looked for Ultima on Steam recently. So, but I, I know for sure it's on good old games. That's where I bought it from. And all you have to do is copy over your data folder from Ultima 7 into this into this project. And then it will pick it up. This project will pick it up when you launch it. And away we go. So I think that's the goal one day is that there'll be like a complete overhaul, reskin, whatever the, t whatever the word the kids use these days. A complete new engine of Ultima 7, the Black Gate. So I'm excited to keep track of this. And... Of course, I would love to contribute where possible if I can like, wrap my brain around a lot of the engine code that's probably needed to be overhauled. But at any rate, that's neither here nor there. We are looking at the configuration for this. The default configuration gives us a 1280 by 720 resolution, which is kind of small for the recording of this video. So I thought I would try pumping it up to 1920 by 1080 and just seeing if this would work. Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay, we got things loading up so far. Oh, all right. A quick test. Oh, oh, this is very cool. So I can't remember how much of Britannia was available in the last version. Maybe I should have like actually watched the video to refresh my memory here before going back to this, but I thought we would just we would just wing it, come in here and just wing the thing. Uh, but I think this minimap is new, and my memory is really terrible. But I think, if I recall correctly, I think the ground, the, the basic structure work was all done in the first version of this, but I don't think the walls were there. Like, I think all the ground tiles were in place, but I can't remember if the walls were there or not. I think the walls being there are new. The trees are definitely new. So we're in Britannia right now. You can see our XY positions updating on the map, which is very cool. What I would like to see, and maybe I'll submit it as a PR, as my first geeky PR, is like an actual version number somewhere in the corner of the screen. Or if I hit like F1 or something like that, it'll come up. But just something on the you know very bottom, and it can be really tiny letters bottom left over here or, or wherever uh, maybe I'll run that past Anthony and uh, see if there's any traction there okay so we've got we've got some good spinning here so we got a little bit of flickering when we get to water and I wonder if it's just because of like trying to animate these water tiles I'm not sure and I'm, I really apologize if I'm sounding picky. I'm really not. I'm just picking out things that uh, are standing out. I think it's a really cool project. Please don't get me wrong. Especially trying to tackle this in any kind of spare time that somebody has. Uh, okay, yeah. So we got, we got walls up for Britannia. Uh, let's check out... I think you was up here. Oh, this looks like a dungeon. That's pretty cool. Is that uh, wrong? Is that the dungeon that's near you? I can't remember where all the all the locations dungeons 
uh, were. Okay, this looks really gnarly. Oh, yeah. Random encounter this. Okay. Is that like meat on a spit? Nope. Okay, it's just kind of overlapping textures. So some areas look to be in pretty rough shape, but again, that's really cool. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing this at all. I'm just having fun with it. I understand like how time consuming it must be to go through the uh, engine rendering code to try and pick out the map tiles and how Ultima 7 was putting it together and then recreate it, but with a modern, modern spin on it. Okay. Enough apologizing. I think you get the point. And is this... Here, let's go to Minoc. Oh, I totally forgot. We can zoom out. So let's pan out a little bit here. Okay, it looks like... Things are looking really good up here in Minoc. I can't wait to see, like, NPCs. I think that is going to be really cool. I don't know where that is in the roadmap. I haven't seen much of a roadmap, but that's cool. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's up ahead in 0 0.03. So is this another dungeon up here, or is this just a tunnel system? Okay, it looks like it's just an ordinary tunnel system. Okay, let's check out... Is this Buccaneer's Den? I believe this is Buccaneer's Den. So again, we've got some really great tiles, wall tiles sticking up. The perspectives look really great. The animation is really smooth, like just rotating and spinning the camera around. Uh, so kudos. Um, let's see. And was this... Was this the island with... Uh, I forgot that the final island of Ultima 4. The Stygian Abyss, is that where it is? Down here in the bottom right? Uh, trust me, I did, I did play the game. I do love it, really. I've just suddenly lost, like, a lot of memory where things are. Okay. Let's see here, we get... I do not know what this is. This is a very gnarly forest, though. It's like a swamp and garden. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. We got the flickering water tiles. Maybe that'll come in the next version is fixing the water, the way the water looks. Again, I don't know if that's uh, an artifact of trying to animate it and not quite getting it or, or what. Okay. And let's see. Oh, we have a real garden here. This is in, is this moon glow? I think this is moon glow. Okay. No, this is way too small to be moon glow. Maybe it's like a mountain cave system. Yeah. And we're not rendering the whole thing there yet. Okay. Let's see. So we got, is this pause? No, not pause. Uh, Vesper. Is this Vesper? Oh, let's take a look at Trinsic. Trinsic has got to be there. Yeah. City of the Paladins. What's a paladin? Why, Trinsic is the home of the paladins. They're heroic paragons of chivalry. Could not resist. The layout looks gorgeous here. I will have to revisit my first video look at this. Okay, we've got our trail, our road showing up. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, let's quickly follow this road and it should, I believe this is pause. Where is our square? Yeah, it might be neat to, uh, I'm not sure how difficult that would be, of course. I mean, it's always easy to just say, hey, you just do this, just do that. But another f another future enhancement here is like, you know how like when you click on somewhere on the minimap, it shows up in like a white square. 
uh, to help you visualize where you're from. Anyway, again, I'm being super really picky. Sorry. Okay. Let's see how far in can we zoom? Yep. I think that's as far as we could zoom in last time. Which is cool. I don't think it's necessary to be like up close and personal with uh, the trees and NPCs once they come into the game. Oh, here's another road path. Uh, I can't remember where we are because I clicked into a few places. And is this Scarabray over here? What was down here again? Is that Jahome or is this Jahome? I think this is Jahome. Yeah, I think this is Jahome. Jalome, Jahome. I can never say it. I can never pronounce it correctly. This was the city of the fighters. And then I think this island over here on the left is Scarabray. But this kind of looks... Yeah, I guess it could be Scarabray. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's more buildings. There's some stones laid out. The city of the shepherds. Although it's like a desolate wasteland in this. Holy smokes. I'll have to visit it in the actual game and see what it looks like. I was really getting into Ultima 4, 5, and 6 for the most part. But 7, just because at the time I could never run this thing, it was a slideshow. I think I went over this in the first video uh, in this series dare I say series, it was a slideshow on my, did I have a 386 or 486 at the time? I had the bare minimum machine that could run Ultima 7. And it was, I had to like swap out floppy disks during the Guardian intro. Like it was a really cool intro. I mean, Ultima has always had really amazing intros, but this one was especially cool with the way the Guardian face came out of the screen. At least I hope I'm remembering that right, and that's not the Ultima 6 intro. Oh, my cursed memory. Anyway, let's see here. Okay, so I think we've gone through everything on the map. And is this, is this Serpent Hold way up here? Serpent's Hold, Serpent Hold. I know there's a castle here. Again, I'm going from locations more from the Ultima 4 or 5 versions. So they might have been morphed by the time Ultima 7 rolled around. But I thought Serpent's Hold was sort of up here. But yeah, it could have been moved in, in the Ultima 7 version of the game. Anyways, this is a fantastic update, 0 0.02. It was a really interesting look into how the engine is progressing, how the map rendering and terrain is looking the objects are coming along really great and yeah i think this is a really cool project give the project a visit download the source code run it yourself and you know feel free to make pull requests to viridian games i'm sure he would in i'm sure he would embrace any pull request for enhancements to uh help him move this project along but that was it for this video i think Please leave a comment down below if I missed something obvious that I didn't point out in this video. Maybe there's a section of this map somewhere that really stood out for you, which would be really cool. So yeah, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one, everyone. Peace.